All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Cyberpunk 2077 Part 23. And it's been about a week since I've been able to play. I actually went on a cruise with my family over uh, Christmas break. Had a good time, had a real blast, but we are now back in action, and I'm ready to start pumping these out again. Um, I am about to go back into the school year, so I won't be able to pump them out quite as fast as I have the last couple of weeks. But if you've been with my channel for a little bit, you know that I like to release at least, you know, five, six, seven videos a week, minimum. So, that'll be about the pace that we're moving out from now. About, about a vid a day. About a video a day, sometimes two. We'll see, we'll see how it ends up. She looks so sick. I love the gorilla arms look. It's just, oh, it's so cool. It's, <laughs> I, I'm not a huge fan of our beanie thing, whatever, but the rest of this is looking pretty good. So, let's go ahead and roll out. I We were headed towards the afterlife, but I actually realized that there are new side jobs that just popped up. That So, yeah, I mean, there's a very high danger side job there that I'm pretty sure we can't access because that requires us to leave, yeah, Watson, which we can't do yet, I don't think. Alright, so let's go check out these uh, three side jobs here. Moderate, moderate, and danger low. So we're actually over-leveled for a side job, I think, for the first time ever. And then we'll go back to the main story. Whoops. I don't think three side jobs will take that long, but you never know. These side jobs can have very differing lengths. Oh my goodness. A little harder to drive in the rain, I think. Look at we're back in this beautiful world. I love the world of this game. Cyberpunk definitely has its issues, but I personally dig the combat. The driving makes me pay attention for better or worse, but it just looks so good. So good. That's Jackie's bike. I don't think the game knows how to handle us checking on that stuff. Like I said, Cyberpunk has problems, but... Oh, is this an overpass thing? What are we doing with here? Cyber Psycho. Cyber Psycho and actually sent a patrol this time, but it's been a few hours with no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced, or anyway, could you check it out for me? Fuck. Be much appreciated. Oh shit! Oh man, when V says "oh fuck," it's probably a problem. All right, where's this guy at? Got grenades and stuff. So do I. Oh. I've got the sticky out. There we go. Stuck him. Okay. Oh, uh, he might he might bleed out here. No, one more punch should do it. Here we go. We're going in. Where'd he go? There it is. Give him a good punch that should knock him out. Boom, baby. Look around. Old Edge Runner. Max Stock Mark II Nekamata. Okay. Dude, these gorilla arms are so cool. I love them so much. Oh my god, I gotta get all the all the controls back. John and Dang. Yo, Matt Leo says hi. Says you were in the same unit. Militech. Matt's alive? Yeah, why wouldn't he be? Saw him step right onto a mine in Panama. Shit, I thought he didn't make it. How's he holding up these days? Fine, I guess. Still has nightmares. Takes a lot for it. But who of us really has it better, yeah? That vet life, huh? Yep. Any less homeless, fucked in a war, no one understood. Yeah, Chum, what can I say? Not gonna get better either. Yeah, I know, I know. At least it's good to know there's someone to talk the old days with. And not be alone. Rip. America after the war. The turbulent years of 2024 to 2035. At the end of the fourth corporate war, in order to establish relative order under the federal government, President Elizabeth Kress imposed martial law on NUS member states and nationalized the domestic arms manufacturing giant Militech. Preoccupied with their own internal issues, most of the Europe and Japan paid little attention to developments in North America. Back in the 1990s, corporations had already begun aggressively purchasing huge swaths of arable land from farmers. 
Those who were left with no choice but to sell eventually found each other and organized into larger groups, or clans, to improve their odds of survival. Looking for reliable work opportunities meant staying on the move and often specializing in transport contracts. Yet once the war settled down, their convoys became the single, reliable, safe method of interstate shipping. In other words, this time of crisis and adaptation played a major role in the emergence of the so-called nomad social class. Meanwhile, in the 2040s, Netwatch created an immense firewall, dubbed the Black Wall, to partition a safe part of the net for human use and curb the threat of rogue artificial intelligences in cyberspace. At the organization's discretion, humanity was forced to sacrifice its access to inestimably valuable resources and knowledge for the sake of net security. Yeah, imagine losing access to the greater part of the internet. That would be insane. After having it all this time? Water, Chrome, and Blood, the Fourth Corporate War. Pretty sure we read that. Both companies... Have we? Uh... It is truly remarkable that the large-scale bloodshed of the Fourth Corporate War began first as a simple rivalry between two ocean exploitation corporations, Sino and Otec. I don't think we have. Both companies vied for the controlling stake of the failing IHA Corporation. OTEC commissioned Militech to secure its business interests and perform certain special operations. Sino, in turn, signed a corporation agreement with the Arasaka Corporation with a similar aim. When circumstances at last called for both colossal and prideful security corporations to clash in an open combat, the Fourth Corporate War had officially begun. Yes, it, as is usually the case with corporate conflicts, the onset proved subtle. Arasako disables a Militech transport. Militech allegedly eliminated. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, we have read this. Sorry. You know my memory. It's been a week. <laughs> I'm already starting to lose things. No! God, I wish my memory was better. But then again, I mean. The part of me that likes to be able to replay games does enjoy that I don't remember them very well. Rush order urgent. Dan, I need that stuff in my head. I really, really, really need it. I'm out. Starting to think some desperate shit on loop. I know I owe you, but fuck, man. I need it, and I need it today, you know? Whatever you want in exchange, man. I'll do anything, okay? I gotta kill, steal, whatever. Please. God damn. Dear Mr. Leo, I regret to inform you that due to your repeated defaults on your payments, we are now forced to foreclose on the property for which the loan was taken out, Mil Milagro Terrace 12. Please vacate the premises within three working days of receipt of this message. Otherwise, we will introduce eviction measures as part of the clear-to-kill system. This decision is final and irreversible. Sincerely, Liam Turetsky, Bank United City Customer Service Department. Hmm. Dear Mr. Liao, due to termination of your employment at the Mercenary Solutions Incorporation, your health insurance policy, PTSD Shield, has been cancelled effective immediately. Any appointments made prior to this notice have been cancelled and any medications have been discarded. We also inform you that you are welcome to use the Government Veterans Care Program. Current appointment wait time is 756 days. To register for an appointment, please send the following text messages. Help. Wishing you good health and the best of luck. Anne McCowan, Senior Consultant, Heroes Care Limited. That's... Jeez, this... It's a beautiful game, but it's a messed up world we find ourselves in. Alright, let's send Regina a message. The Bart Moss Collective, I can send a message. What? Whenever money changes hands, your true self becomes a victim to capitalism. Okay. Our cycle's out cold but alive. Transferring you the data I gathered, looks like it was an ex-merc working for some corp. Soon as he stopped being useful, they tossed him out on the street. Guy kept his combat implants, had PTSD, stopped taking his meds. You can fill in the blanks. Thanks for going the extra mile. So a bad friend of mine just sent over his data. Guy's head was a mess. Must have taken four times doses just to make it through the day. Eventually, the corp cut off his health insurance, the cash dried up, and then the ticking time bomb exploded. Was it really from the implants alone? Who the hell knows? Either way, your eddies are in the air. Thanks for taking care of this. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, recording this video is the first thing I'm doing in the morning, so... <laughs> I guess a yawn was inevitable. That's right, we got some loots. This guy had a purple drop. Epic item components. Okay. We'll take epic item components. Wasn't even an enemy we killed, it was just a guy. Rip beat cop. I'm getting used to, uh, the fact that the guns don't reload on their own. You do have to, uh... Shoot, what was the button? God dang it. What was the put the weapon away again? Alt. There it is. No, not alt. Hold down alt? No. Shoot! I forgot the weapon- I forgot the button to put away weapons. So stupid. Okay, well that's one side gig down. And it was easy. They were right, the danger was low. Let's get on to the next one. 
two danger moderates. And then we're on to the afterlife, supposedly. I don't think these two side gigs will level us up. <laughs> I don't remember this song. Not bad. Ah, uh, calm down. We're fine. <laughs> what graceful driving we have here. She hide a kitten and I find it. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Excuse me. I know traffic and all that, but like there was something right here. I saw it on the mini-map. There's a problem. That needs my help. Did they kill a cop? That looks like... Oh my god, that's a cop. Damn, these two ballsy. Y'all really out here killing cops? Damn. Maybe you regret that decision now. God, I cannot remember how to put this weapon away. I'll have to look back at it in a sec. After this video. Alright. Well, that happened. Yeah, combat. Sure it did. God! Ugh. At least it's the max stock I have all in the world. Interesting. All right, we're parking here. V, we got data from Jotaro's private server. Okay. Found out who's been procuring people for his recordings. Oh shit. J Hume, human trafficker and bona fide piece of shit. Check the sitch out for me. Deeds attached. Look at how god how good this game looks. It's such a real environment. J Hume, rooftop slums near Allen Street. Details. Countless dreamers head to big cities in search of a fresh start, and so many of them have nowhere to return to. Outcasts, loners, rejects, Jay Hunes put a targets put a target on the backs of those societies failed, and there's no shortage of them in Night City. Here's the rundown of J on Jay Hunes' meat grinder. He identifies some poor bastard, kidnaps them, and delivers them to scabs for biomon or other cyberware removal. They're stripped of their identities and end up the property of some shitbag like Jotaro to do with as they please. Of course, no one really looks for these people, and even if they did, where would they start? What are the odds? To find someone in Night City who doesn't exist? Let's face it, Jay Hume is just one head of the Hydra, but fuck it, let's chop it off anyway. Could be a good while before more grow back in this place. Hell yeah. And Jotaro's dead, so that should always help. Rooftop slums, huh? I mean, just look at this environment. I can't believe it. I... You guys have got to be tired of me saying it by now, but it's been a week since I played. <laughs> it just blows my mind every time. Oh, got to super jump this one. Okay. Let's see, what are we working with here? What you said, like, the city of power. But here all the weak. Excuse me. Couldn't find a place to stash them, so we're just gonna put them here. What are they on alert now? Did he really find us? That was close. Ah, oh, damn, we did get busted. Okay. No problem. We could take on some random schmucks on the street. Ah, sticky miss. Unload. I am not doing something illegal. Trust me, I am doing the world a service.
see ya. Down he goes. There's a sniper back there, I know. She's pissing herself. Yeah, hide down. Dumbass. There's a legendary drop back there. Hell yeah. A drone? Really? Let's have it come to us. Alright. Another defender. We'll take a look at that. That tank might be good. A lot of loot here, actually. Yeah, what are these guys thinking? They haven't heard of V yet? That's a shame. Annihilation 8. I think that's as high as our Annihilation goes right now. Yeah, it is. Shoot. I can't street brawl that drone. Oh, well. I'm going to have to shoot this drone for wasted experience with the Annihilation, but it is what it is. Not the end of the world. Just one kill with the wrong weapon. It's not going to change everything forever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's this guy talking to? There it is. There. Okay. So let's go to Street Brawler for a bit because our annihilation is capped, which means it's Gorilla Arms time. It's time for you all to catch these hands. Okay. Crafting spec for the Ashura and 1700 eddies. There once were two sisters, Night and Death, Death large and Night small. Night had the beauty of dreams, while Death, Death was most lovely of all. Hey nanny nanny, hey nanny nanny, Death was most lovely of all. Okay. Interesting. 70 eddies, that's it. That's a fancy laptop, damn. I don't remember seeing one like this. International Cuisine. To Joe Taro, yeah. Good morning, good sir. I'm offering a new dish that's to satisfy, satisfy your sophisticated palate. Ingredients include one black lamb, two pink porky boys, and with an Asian twist, a young hen and rooster. Yeah, I get the code. In total, five young and up-and-coming up stars who are dying to perform in your productions. Important, make sure to apply the cream provided in your package to your biomonitor wounds. It would be a shame if they died in the middle of scrolling because of infection. Also, I equipped each with a GPS in case any of them try to go out for any long walks. But most importantly, have some fucking fun. As of today, they're your property. P.S. I know you don't like surprises, so I personally double-checked their histories. None have ever fucked professionally, so it's up to you to convince them and break them in how you see fit. I only hope this time they prove more durable. I can't cook with soft ingredients. Oh my god. We have a pretty serious complication. That Asian boy reserved for Jotaro had a severe seizure out of nowhere. He's alive, but extremely weak. I very much doubt Jotaro will have any interest in one so fragile. I'd exchange him for the boy already marked for downtown, but maybe that throws a wrench in everything. It's your call. Okay, so let's do this. We make the change. I'll smooth things over with the corpo downtown best I can. I'd rather do that than risk blowback from Jotaro. Up for grabs. Select for next week. Cindy Lathan, Block Black, 17, Aldecaldos, Runaway, in Night City, one week. John Kazakmark, White, 19, Orphan from Nevada, in Night City, three days. Sherry Botch, White, 24, Kabuki Native, Orphaned after parents died, living on street. Jesus. Yeah, this guy's old. That, that's about as scumbag as it gets. Oh my god. This game goes some dark places. Good thing we got him off the street. V doing that vigilante justice for a while now. Um, damn, there's really no way to... Okay, wait. 1C, E9. No, that won't work. Nah, it won't work. Damn. Okay. Take our eddies that we can get. Forgot we're doing pretty well on the eddies game. All right. There's another gig right over here, so let's do that. What about med exams? Before him? No? All the better. I'll be ready. <sighs> okay. Jay Hume's dead. And here I thought nothing would cheer me up today. <laughs> Great. Consider the gig closed. There we go. Look at us go. Oh, okay. That hurt a little bit. We're, we'll be alright. Who are these guys? 
Netrunners for the NCPD, why would they be angry at us? God damn it, I need to stop using that button on accident trying to put my fists away. I really need to know that <laughs> putting the weapons away button. I remember it was something like inconvenient and out of the way. Something you wouldn't think of. But whatever. Oh, hold up. It's this way? Oh, there's an elevator. Gotcha. Body identified. Yeah, I don't know why the NCBD would be looking for us, but we're good. Oh, yeah. This oh, V's about to tear up. I can't wait to use these gorilla arms a little more. We haven't really gotten to really unload with them yet. As you know, Kabuki's got a new fixer from the USSR. Been running some major biz in NC for a few weeks now. Not sure what exactly, but we're gonna find out. You need to clip his data shard. It's got everything. More on our comrade and the gig and the attachment. Okay, are we good in here though? I don't know if we're good in here. We should be, right? All right. Thievery. Some loose-lipped bar-hopping Arasaka suits have let out word about some big deal going down with the commies. Seems it wasn't just talk for a pissing contest with rival corpos, either. The Mikhail Akulov arrived in Night City a while ago. The one from the car with the tracker. Okay, so this is follow-up to the tracker guy. All right. A top-class Soviet fixer, my client wants Akulov's data shard, supposedly containing extremely valuable intel on talks with the Japanese. Go to the hotel where Akalov's staying and swipe that data out from under his nose, as if it needs to be said, but he'll have heavy protection. And remember, I'll pay extra if you get in and out without a trace. Okay, call me when it's done. This time, we're actually going to do it. We're actually going to put our god dang weapons away. And we're actually going to not get caught this time, because we definitely failed that last time. I'm sorry, but I, I really just... I really just need to put these weapons away. Uh, psycho next weapon, no. That's right, it doesn't say here, does it? Oh my god. Okay, I'll Google it after this episode. I really don't want to come in here, you know, like, ready to box. Oh! I think we messed up. Are you kidding me? God, we're so bad. I, I didn't realize that's what I was picking up. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> we're so bad. Yeah, let's light him up, though. Damn it. I didn't, I didn't realize oh, that that was going to get us busted like that. And I was all thrown off because of the... Damn! Well, we got busted. Whatever. That's another uh, failed uh, night. That's another failed stealth mission. God damn it! Ah! I really wish I remember how to put those weapons away because that's what did me in right there. I'm so uncomfortable with my hands constantly out that I was just, like, not thinking about what I was doing. <laughs> God dang it. I am actually, like, legitimately Googling with my phone right now, putting away weapons, Cyberpunk 2077. Double tap the cycling weapon button. I don't know what that is yet. Welcome to Hotel Reito. If you're reading this, it means you value comfort, luxury, and prestige as much as we do. Thank you for visiting Hotel Reito, your place in Night City. By choosing us, you etch your mark in our history of entertaining and caring for high-profile guests. We opened our arms when Lizzie Wizzy's guitarist, Chuck Johnson, was kicked out of the house. We opened our minds to the genius of Kiroshi engineer Kazuya Sanada while he spent six months with us creating his groundbreaking work on the XKL 2827 lens. We open our legs to the legendary orgies of Ryu Alvin, director of Soggy Sirens. Yikes. Whatever brings you here, we're pleased to be a part of it. Wishing you a pleasant stay, Hotel Reito, Hotel Reito Management. God damn it. I don't, I don't know what the button is to switch weapons. 
I just use the mouse wheel. That's not it. There it is. Thank God. Sweet, merciful Buddha. I can finally put my weapons away. It's too late to not get caught in this stealth mission, but it is what it is. Damn it. I really hope that doesn't have, like, reaching effects. The fact that we cannot do these stealth missions. Space rental terms. The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics seeks a corporation argument with Hotel Reto. We wish to rent a space where Comrade Mikhail Sergevich Akhalov at a security detail can reside for one month. Our terms include an entire floor dedicated to Comrade Akhalov, restricted access given only to Comrade Akhalov's security detail, all surveillance cameras on Comrade Akhalov's floor must be deactivated, our agents must be granted full access to hotel security systems with respect to Vasily Vasilovich Ryukhanov. Uh, dear Comrade Ryukhanov, it is an honor to ha you have chosen Hotel Raito. We will be pleased to welcome a distinguished representative from the USSR. We truly appreciate your trust and hope you will consider us for all future stays in Night City. We can certainly accommodate the terms of Comrade Akhalov's best stay with us. Stay with us. Best regards, Hotel Retail Management. Stuff to sell. Dude, got another package to lose. Some Neokish tits and whatnot. <laughs> Pretty solid haul. You got us. You gonna send it to somebody? Troy Wilson to show Davis. Not hitting the market myself with it. We should keep cool on it. Policewoman's patrolling the market now. If she spots anything from the hotel, you might have a prob. But all the same to me. You want to send someone, it's all you. And ain't you afraid to be using the work email? As a tune of mine says, afraid to thieve, you shan't receive. So I don't give a fuck. It's hot. I want it out. And I need the eddies. Okay. Damn it, I can't believe that happened. I'm so disappointed. I wanted the nice stealth mission. Would have been cool. Oh well. Uh, we're gonna have to do the medium too, maybe? No, we can't even do that. There's just no way. Man, 7A-E9-1C. Not playing along. This was probably all set up to be a nice stealth mission. And we blew it. Enter the elevator. Go to Mikhail Akhalov's penthouse. Can I stealth from here, or is it too late? I don't see the optional, like, don't be detected on the gig thing. I think it's already too late. I'll try to stealth anyway, just in case, but I think I think we messed it up. Damn. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already have that. I don't know why I keep taking those things. Right, hostile area. Okay, there's two dudes there. Not entirely sure where I'm trying to get to. Go ahead and connect in here. Who knows who's watching? 7A55BD. Alright. Obtain, obtain Mikhail Akhalov's data shard. Whoop. Let me see if it updated the optional part in our uh, quests, missions. Journal. Uh, yeah, here we go. I'm almost done. It doesn't say like optional crossed out, but I think we I think we did blow it. I think that's already. I think that cat's out of the bag. Because the fact that hotel got attacked in the first place. Wow, hey, look at all this. Oh my goodness. Camera? Camera. Alright. I see a chest, I must loot it. Probably nothing important, but we got it. Okay. Rest of this looks okay. There's another chest over there. We're doing our best. My Russian accent is not good. Okay. I don't even. I don't even want to knock him out just in case that sets a, sets him off. 
Let's go ahead and get back inside. And who knows, maybe this area just has a lot of loot we can get, as is. Hello? 650 Eddies isn't bad. Not what we're here for, but we'll take it. Uh, I don't think this is his data pad. No. Uh, stage of deliberations. Comrade, report on your progress. Comrade General, deliberations continue smoothly, but I need more time to reach a compromise. It is possible we must make a new offer. Also, we must watch our neighbors to the south. They, too, are attempting to build rapport with the Japanese. Ah, so the Russians and the Japanese are doing work. On hotel network security, we have control over hotel network systems and enable the VPN. All messages you write will be encrypted and inaccessible from outside the network. Let's turn off the local network. No cameras, please. You think they'll notice? Okay. Give us the goods. Three Japanese words to know. <laughs> Arasaka to ornithology? What? As conversations over factionalism within Arasaka heat up, many industry insiders wonder about the company's future trajectory. If you struggle to understand the complicated inner machinations of the world's largest arms manufacturer, look no further than the obscure science of ornithology. Yes, that's right. The study of birds can help, at least in a sense. There are three Japanese words every corporate player ought to be familiar with. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Okay. Kiji. Green pheasant. This bird has long held cultural and symbolic significance in Japan. One can admire the world's la last living specimens at Hanako Arasaka's private preserve on the island of Shikoku. But the word Kiji also bears meaning among the factional identities within Arasaka. This group with, it, with Hanako at its center consists primarily of conservative technocrats who wish to follow the course set by Saburo Arasaka himself. In his daughter Hanako, they see a guiding force to maintain the old order and stability within the corporation. Hato, Dove. The symbolism of the dove is recognized far and wide. The symbol also aptly captures the character of a much smaller faction within the company led by Michiko Arasaka, daughter of the late Kei and niece to Hanako. This literal wing of the corporation has unified those who seek deeper reforms. Although they currently hold little influence, they enjoy growing support popularity amongst the politicians and media personalities. Taka Hawk. Yeah, Yorinobu, that makes sense. As symbolic as the dove is, so too is the hawk. This faction, headed by Yorinobu Arasaka, often prefers to take the most direct and uncompromising solutions. Both stubborn and temperamental, he resembles Saburo, which has given him wide support among the more militant-minded Arasaka Corp elite. However, his more pro-Western inclinations and ideals that are innovative as well as they are con controversial have weakened his support from the board's loyal traditionalists. You can learn more about Arasaka family genealogy from the eight-book series Two Centuries in the Clover Shadow, available in stores soon. That's a weird thing to buy. A lot of Eddie's just around, though. We'll take that. Money, please. Always a big fan of money. Alright, looks like we're good on cameras in here. The Foodie Guide to Night City. I know we've read that. Yep. Jack into another thing here. So it's not upstairs. BD1C9. Whoops. Let's try this. Yeah, I messed up. That's a few eddies we're not getting back. My bad. What do we got in here? Turn that local network off as well. It's the same stuff. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna have to do something downstairs, clearly. Upstairs didn't have what we were here for. Oh my god. How are we supposed to get through this? There we go. Distract them with that. And then I can reboot his optics. There it is. I don't know what I just got, but... Oh my god, he walked that way. Okay. Oh, no! No! Whoo! No, don't come this way. 
Don't come this way. Don't do it. Oh, okay. She turned around. Oh my god. <laughs> that was close. I can't believe we pulled that off. I can't believe we're not going to get this stealth because I think we blew it at the bottom with the hotel. Because we kind of nailed that in and out right there. Nine tech ability. Oh, yeah. Let's do this for the athletics experience. God, that looks good. I love that. All right. Here we go. Let's get out of here. And we're gone. We're going to leave, and she's going to be like, you were, weren't supposed to blow your cover. And I'm like, God. <laughs> I, I can already see it coming. This is going to hurt so bad. This is going to hurt so bad. 1.45 p.m. That's not too late. Is there a specific time we're supposed to be meeting Jackie for the, uh, the heist? Head to the afterlife. Hey. I remember from the trailers and, uh, from playing this game previously that the afterlife is pretty sick. Call Regina. All right, Regina, we messed up. Shard is secured. Nice work. Sending you the drop-off coordinates. Klein will be waiting for you there. Oh, who am I meeting? You know, I feel like a corpo agent right now. What's all this about? China. They're the client. Oh shit. China, huh? Thought you never liked swimming with the sharks. Everyone's got debt, speed. You do what you gotta do. What kind of debt? Just something from my muckraking days. Needed help and fast, too. Help for what? I'm sorry, do you hear me poking around your horse <laughs> is and digging through your past? No. Was well, curious, not. that's all. Just teasing me. Sort of. If it's all the same to you, I'd rather just get this over with and move on. So you heading to the meet or what? Uh, yeah, where's my car, though? Pete, wait. Yeah? When you get there, no questions. Makes them real cranky. Try my best. Try my best. <laughs> I mean, let's not make enemies we don't need to make, you know what I mean? Looks like they're pretty close. Deliver the shard to Regina's client. Have we found heaven on Earth? Permanent human settlement on Antarctica is celebrating 10 years today. Hey, 10 years on Antarctica. What? Hello? Who's making enemies with me right now? Oh, okay. Some Tiger Claw boys? You made a mistake. Where's the other one at? Oh my god. You guys are idiots. <laughs> yeah, probably not your best move there. I actually just killed them in a punch. Like, they're not unconscious. They're dead. Whew. That was a poor move, boys. Poor move. What up? Looks so cool. Hand over the shard. I like that we can translate what they say. That guy looks pretty cool. Damn. There, job done. You're welcome. Head to the afterlife. Okay. I'd like to get paid, but okay. Whoa. Wait a second. Just like they leave and instantly a crime moves in? Now half the city's gonna know about this mess. Yo, I tried. The same page. Whatever. Contract closed. Yo, I'm sorry. Uh, we were. I just picked up a hotel door and they tried to kill me on sight. What the hell? There is no crime here. I guess there's supposed to be. Unless it's up there. I guess there's supposed to be, but uh, the China stuff like messed it up. 
yeah, it's supposed to be down there, but the China stuff messed it up. Whatever. Well, maybe we'll see it again someday. I'm sorry. Ah, I wanted to do that stealthily so bad. We just made the stupidest mistake right at the beginning. But now I know how to put away weapons. Won't happen again. At least not because of that. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider uh, subscribing. I really forgot how I close these videos out. <laughs> Either way, thank you so much for joining B and I on this journey. And we'll see you at the afterlife next time.